Hi folks, welcome back and thanks for joining. So today's video was um, inspired by a viewer who developed a sensitivity to fragrance oils when she made candles. And uh, she inquired about uh, PPE in the lab. So it's a, uh, that's a very important subject. So we're going to go over it and we're going to go over the, uh, the things that you can use, should use, in a uh, in a laboratory uh, where there are uh, scents, volatile organic compounds in the air, and yes, for the most part, you do need most definitely to make sure that you have good ventilation and good protection because you're also dealing with hot wax. So we're going to go over everything here. Okay, so let's get started. So now we're going to talk about the respirator. Okay, and, and the proper use and how to how to use it, how to put it on, and uh, how to take care of it, and how to make sure that it takes care of you. Very important. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now is something called Dawn and Clear and Mask, and what that means is this is this is going to form a seal, an airtight seal. To your face and if you're a woman uh, that's easier if you're a man like I am I have to shave uh, to make sure I have to shave regularly to make sure that I can get a full face uh, airtight seal a half face airtight seal a full face has the, uh, the goggles part now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, Put this on, and I'm going to do something called Don and Clear. Um, and this is what must be done to ensure an airtight seal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it to my face. I'm going to attach these straps first, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow. And I'm going to hold this part to blow. What that does is it blows out all of the air from the mask. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands here and here to stop any air from coming in. And that's going to pull the mask to my face and create that airtight seal. So I'll go with you and talk you through the steps, but it's hard to hear through the mask. So let's get a little bit closer here. Now, uh, what we're going to do is going to put this on. Make sure this headband is attached properly. Adjust it to your face. To make sure this part is under your chin. Attach the back strap. Blow through here. Hold here. You may not get it right the first time, but keep adjusting until you can get this and you can't breathe in anything. Now you're sealed to your face. Now let's talk about how to take care of the mask and how it takes care of you. These filters are P100. They're, that is That means they protect you 100% from any unknown biologic and that covers everything. These are activated charcoal filters. There's a pre-filter here. The life of one of these filters is about eight hours. They sell replacement filters. Don't forget to get one of these while you're there. It's sold separately, quite often. This is what these filters plug into. And these are the rubber seals here. This is what lets the air in. But when you blow out, you blow out through a simple 
port here. So you breathe in here and you blow out there. Like I said, these are eight hour cartridges and they can be sterilized. And the simplest and best way to do that is to place these. in an oven of 160 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. This will kill anything that is on there. That is a, it will obliterate everything. Don't let it get too hot or you're going to damage these. 160 minimum, right on the money for 30 minutes, right on the money. And that's how you do that. As you can see, this clips into here. So when you get these, look for these as well. This part, once you have the filters off, you can hand wash this soap and water. Let it air dry. A little twist and it snaps it right back on. I think I've pretty well covered that. You know this pops off here and I'm not going to do that but then there is another little uh, disc in there and you can also purchase that separately it's the companion for these they come in a kit uh, you'll get this part and you'll get these two plus that in a kit look for that uh, make a make a good investment and they're 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 not that expensive to get a really good one 50 bucks, you know, for the whole rig, so. And it comes in a nice case to keep everything dust free when not in use. Now I mentioned the P100, that actually, uh, this is actually my part of my COVID gear. I use this when I go out uh, to shop or anything like that. Whenever I make contact, I don't use that mask. I don't use this. I use this. I also add this, which is also a good lab gear, and that is it's a complete face shield. All the way protects your ears. And if you have a collar on, you're completely protected from uh, any splashes. Uh, I wear this also. Now, to protect your hands, obviously, a pair of gloves, uh, nitrile or latex, either one will work just fine. We also talked about uh, a fume cover, and uh, I, uh, I use a HEPA filter right here, and I put it in a box, and I exhaust it through this port right here to the outdoors. So, uh, this runs quite a bit. Now also, you're working with uh, hot liquids, so uh, if you're going to be working in the lab, I don't have one, but uh, if you want an apron, an oil-proof apron, and it should go below your knees, uh, or a good pair of shoes, obviously. Uh, so if you're going to uh, be making candles a lot, well, invest in uh, your own safety. Now, for the sensitivity, uh, I recommend that you wear one of these with this so that the uh, VOCs don't get on your skin either because they can uh, get in your eyes and cause problems as well. So you'll want to rig up like this before you touch a bottle of fragrance oil. You'll want to, at the very minimum, turn on your HEPA, get it nice and close, keep it close. And then you can attach your exhaust here and go outside. Get that running first. Oh. What I'm attempting to do is show you how to rig up for opening a bottle of scent.
Now you're completely protected from any aerosol, VOC, particulate in the air. So. Head to toe from the vapors, the VOCs, any sort of airborne irritant, uh, splash, skin protected. Now, as for the um, oil proof apron, well, you also saw me make this out of milk. Well, just make a bigger one out of milk. It would work. So for that, refer back to some older videos. Uh, they're not that far back. All right. I hope this has helped. And uh, perhaps a video like this should have been before uh, testing. But now's a good time. And I want to thank the viewer, Amy, uh, for uh, asking for this. Uh, you're going to help everybody. Bye-bye now.